So I know it's been super easy to be snarky about the Vikings this week and question why we invest our time, why we invest our money, why we invest our mental bandwidth in this stupid team that's inevitably going to let us down. And I've thought about it too, where it's one thing just to jump around from team to team, you know, rooting for the Niners in the 80s and the Cowboys in the 90s, the Patriots in the 2000s, and then like the Chiefs or, or whatever. But loyalty, persistence, sticking through the tough times because that makes the the good times that much sweeter because you can't have sweet without the sour you can't have light without the dark you can't have the yin without the yang all that stuff or whatever philosoph philosophical bs i'm trying to tell myself today <laughs> because it, it hurts it, it, it sucks and it, it'd be one thing just to be a team that just has no hopes or aspirations at all like you know, the Browns the Lions most years but not this year because they got something going but having the expectations and then just going up and then going down it, it hurts but also it builds character and it builds resiliency and you know Vikings fans we're a hearty lot because not only do we have like this garbage garbaggio weather that we have to put up with now that the Vikings are out I guess we have hockey and the Wolves if you're if you like that uh, I don't know um but <laughs> just consistently getting kicked in the nether regions just consistently having your heart crapped on by a football team and purple it's tough it's rough and you yeah, having to put up with all the the trash talk from Packers and Bears fans uh, from around uh, around the league it, it's fine yeah it, it's fine because we internalize it it makes us tougher and we're gonna get our ass back up so in, in boxing uh, if you get knocked down and it's a 10 count, that's it. Fight's over, right? Uh, but uh, a strategy a lot of uh, cornermen will employ to the boxer be like, hey, take the standing eight count. So take a moment, take a breath, give yourself to the count of eight, stand up and resume the fight. And that's exactly what this team needs to do. That's exactly what we need to do as fans because we ain't going to stop believing Mm -mm -mm. We're going to be full on journey in the sim because it is about the journey. It is not about the destination. And once the Vikings hoist Cetro and Barty 12 times in the next decade, it's going to be worth it, man. Because I have faith in Quasey. I have faith in Kevin O'Connell. I have faith in Justin Jefferson. And there the list ends. Not just kidding. You know, TJ uh, and, and Dara saw as well. But, you know, just bleed a little bit. Lie here a little bit. Get yourself back up and, and get after it. And I, I know that... It is so easy to be snarky. It is so easy uh, in today's society and culture just to be like, uh, always looking at the glass half empty and always, uh, you know, being the victims like, oh, good things never happened to me and blah, blah, blah. They're going to blow it. They're going to lose that. But I, I would say be very careful with that. I, I know a lot of people say that they only treat their sports like that, but it, it's like Musashi. Once you know the way broadly, you see it in all things. So if you're snarky and negative and just just an a-hole when it comes to your sports, it certainly could bleed over into your life. And no one wants to live like that. I mean, no one wants to be around someone like that. Uh, and most people can't, they really hate themselves when they're like that. So that's why I was skew towards the positive and, you know, th going through these tough times, it's going to make the good times that much better. And it's like, it's like the old people who talk about, it's like, you know, back in my day, we, we, we had saw, sawdust sandwiches and we, we walked to school uphill in snow both ways. Why don't you walk around the hill? Shut up and respect your elders or something like that. But you know, a quote that's really stuck with me is, is this going to be backwards? Oh, it probably is. Uh, what's meant to be yours will always be yours. Also, you, you'll see that the hairline is fine here. Uh, well, it's retreating here, but it's like fine in the back. So I like one, got one of those interesting situations. But what's meant to be yours will be yours. And uh, glory and success is meant to be the Vikings. It's just, it's just going to take a while, man. It's going to take a lot of faith. And the people who stick with them through thick and thin, ups and downs, are going to reap the most rewards. Because no one likes a front runner. No one likes uh, a fair weather or plastic fan. No one likes it, man. All right, so sucks now. Take the standing eight count. And... Put your hands back up and let's get ready to fight again. Skull, no production value.